Hey guys, welcome to hopefully the last video of the uh, 06 Subaru Impreza was it a 2.5 single cam uh, wagon thing project whatever remember we did that we did the hell oh yeah the head gasket there we go I got I got four Subarus on my driveway right now and there's another project coming up which I'm probably gonna record anyways so the engine is in you know I've been driving it for a little bit here and there it's still a little, little smoky from all the cleaning the degreaser and all that stuff so it needs to be driven a little bit more but there's an issue let me show you all right so as you can see no check engine light engines cold but even if it's warm it still does the same thing well, of course now it's not gonna do it what it does is it's bugging it's kind of like bugging down rpms don't go up as you rev it up like you know like they should well right now they are man this is always <laughs> you know at least once a month uh, you know a guy's gonna call me let me put the seat belts on you know someone's gonna call me and uh, describe the, the, the problem over the phone you know for example a check engine light and then by the time they get here the problem's gone I can't duplicate it I don't know what the hell he's been talking about and you know car has been fixed it happens sometimes let's drive this thing so as I'm driving and you know along it's it's pretty normal it's not it's by no means quick it's slow actually brakes kind of suck but it's been sitting for a while so the car needs to be driven right no check engine light yet actually no idiot lights at all but what I've noticed it did uh, once it's uh, warm a little bit okay I'm gonna hopefully you can hear this I'm gonna pull over just listen to the engine to the exhaust and listen to me thump on the gas pedal you'll know when I'm full on the throttle you know that initial rev from like 500 to about 1500 that's too slow so there's something going on yeah it's way too slow so it's bugging down is what I'm saying so you know hoping the chicken light will come on and give me a clue but I did clean the throttle body did install a new uh, the variable intake thing uh, valve solenoid so with you know the, the ECU it's been reset it's been sitting disconnected for you know for quite quite some time so and it hasn't been I drove it maybe I think 7.3 miles to be exact yeah so a car every time you reset the ECU or disconnect the battery for a longer time the, the ECU needs to relearn again you know uh, idle and other stuff so I hope this is about relearning yeah it's just it's like it does it almost does nothing and then goes up all of a sudden there should be more pickup as soon as I'm you know near the throttle so it's it's lacking that tiny bit of power yeah, even a little bit at higher rpms anyways what I'm gonna do and I hope it's gonna fix this issue because I never I did check the spark plugs they, they look fine they didn't look old but I never well can't really check the, the wires right the cables the electricity hoses so I'm gonna replace on those and I am going to replace the spark plugs so I'll see you back at the shop all right decided to just do wires and just check that's gonna fix the issue 
I hope so because these are Denzo Denzo first time fit wires Denzo first time fit 7 millimeter class E suppression cable and these quite possibly also 7 millimeter yeah high heat protection no no name generic cables all right let's see how long that's going to take wires new wires cables so it took about I forgot to look at the clock but about 10 15 minutes stops felt like 10 12 maybe with me making a mistake putting a short wire on where a longer one's supposed to go and vice versa so I had to switch those quickly anyways let's see what happens now I see what it's doing, still the same. What could it be? I'm beginning to think it's not the spark plugs or the wires, obviously. All right, guys, the only other thing I can think of is the lap sensor, which is this guy here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean it, take it out, obviously, clean it. Very easy. Put it back, try it. If it's gonna be the same, then I'm gonna actually take mine out of my 06 STI. They should be the same. I'm gonna recheck the part number, you know, the numbers on it. This is a Denzo one. I'm gonna switch it over and uh, check again. Next time I started to, after cleaning this one, I'm gonna also check for vacuum leaks. But I mean, I recheck this thing over and over you know i got all the hoses connected so it's actually it's not bad it's these two wires that you want to inspect and the two guys in there i don't know if you're going to be able to see that there we go those two guys inside there looks like they have some build up on them yeah, they are actually kind of dirty. You're, yeah, you won't be able to see that, but uh, they look like they have some carbon buildup, like a spark plug, kind of. All right, I'm gonna clean this off. All right, brake cleaner usually does the trick. So I did just scrape it with a small screwdriver. Basically, lightly touching it just to scrape off some of that build up. And that's actually much better. <laughs> By the way, my neighbor cuts his grass every day. See that now? Looks much better. All right, sensor back in. What the hell? That's like an intake backfire. actually better now let's let it drop a little bit all the way to 500 or so 750 okay that was better let it drop again that's much better actually yeah I see it it's not waiting it's just There is no delay. Let it drop again. I think I think we're fixed. 
I mean, why is it telling me to put the seat belts on? I'm not going anywhere, man. I'm not even in in a, in a gear. Yeah, I think we're good. Easy fix. Well, besides the wire, the cables. Oh yeah. All right, I'm happy to report. All is good. Let's check for leaks. But I'm sure there there's no leaks. Well, besides some old rack and pinion leaks. Check this out, guys. Well, besides this, this is what I'm talking about. And that old grease from the CV axle. This guy here, that's been replaced. Not by me, somebody else. But uh, let's appreciate this dry Subaru engine, huh, guys? Check this out. Remember, all this was just trenched with oil, just dripping on the exhaust. This is nice. The only thing I didn't reseal was the oil pan, but it's it's, it's fine. It's not too bad. Looks like there was a, a broken CV axle boot on the passenger side as well. And I did f fix the exhaust. We had a, I, there was a can actually right over this connecting these two pipes and uh, two clamps with a can over it so now it's welded that's it there is a plastic cover that's supposed to go around this area but these two bolts are broken one is not this one is broken this one's broken so i'm not gonna do anything about it right now maybe later maybe another time so really the only thing that's left that's wrong with this car is the exhaust making that weird noise there's a hole somewhere i'm guessing in the muffler somewhere but that's supposed to get replaced well project done sometimes it happens actually <laughs> sometimes a project gets done well at least by me more things uh for this car are planned already you know by the owner and we're gonna see this car at some kind of an event, autocross for sure. Not sure if this guy's gonna take it on an asphalt autocross for sure. Ice racing, which is you know, ways to go, months to go, but uh, uh, different rally crosses uh, uh, on gravel and stuff like that. And here's another Subaru, yay! Which is also another ice racing project, only for ice racing, which I'm about to start. All right, guys. I think we're at 1,000 subscribers by now. I want to thank everybody that did subscribe to this channel. If you're interested in more repairs, subscribe. Like the video if it helped you out. And I'll see you soon.